Hello again. So this time I'm going to show you how I recreate things that I see on Pinterest or Etsy or wherever that I like and I want to make for myself. Um, not trying to like steal somebody's work or you know copy it and sell it and that kind of stuff. I just see things that I love and I want to make something similar. So I yesterday on one of my groups, I don't know which one, saw this. Somebody posted this picture. It wasn't their picture. I have honestly no idea whose it is, who made it, if they're selling it, if it was personal use, whatever. Um, I just thought it was absolutely beautiful and I want to make this. So I saved this image to my desktop and I am going to go and show you how I would make something similar. Um, so I go to Inkscape. For my own reference, I actually bring that picture in. Um, I go to Import. I saved it to my desktop, so I'm going to just bring it in just so I have something to look at. I'm not tracing it, I'm not doing anything with it, I just kind of keep it off to the side to look at. So this is all text. I'm not taking in any images. Everything I'm going to do is just text. So when I look at this, the two names and this forever and always on the bottom are all the same font. At least I think they are. I'm going to make them all the same font, but I'm going to do it with mine and my husband's names. So it's going to be that, the initial behind it, and forever and always. And it's just all plain text. To figure out the font, I have hundreds of fonts on my computer, and I don't want to try them all one at a time to figure out which one I want, so I use something called Nexus font. So I'm going to open Nexus font. And in here, I type Ashley and Todd, because I want to kind of make it the same kind of look that that has. <clears throat> so now this lets me just scroll through all of the fonts that are on my computer and see what this text would look like in all of them. So I just scroll through here real quick, pick any ones that I like, I just click on them, it highlights the little thing next to it. Um, I apologize if this takes a minute, I have a lot of fonts. But I'm just looking for anything really scripty swirly. This is kind of pretty. It's not bad, but it's pretty. That one's pretty. Um, I just pass that off. Um, it doesn't have to always be like I love Harrington. I love anything written in Harrington. It's probably my favorite font. But we're just going to kind of pick out some that I think it would look good in. I love that's a pretty one, the gala. I think that I purchased that one, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and one of my favorite scripts is Precious. But when you're picking these fonts, you also have to keep in mind some of these are going to be a monster to weed, depending on how big you're planning on making it. And if you're doing it out of HTV, you can get away with a little bit more because that doesn't get all ripped up as easy. So after I pick a bunch of them, I click this little selected button here. And now just the ones that I picked are on my screen, and I can see which one I really, really like. Um, for this, I it's not what this person used, but I personally love Precious, so I'm going to use Precious. So I get out of this, go back to my text, and I'm going to pick Precious. And then I have all that. Because the tops of these letters are cut off because of the size of this font, I'm actually going to add... Whoops. to change the line spacing to make this. We got that one. There we go. Okay, sorry about that. So now I have all my text and I can actually see all the curves. So I'm going to turn this into an object. Now, they're all objects, or they're all paths now, but each one is a separate path. And I don't want each letter by itself because that would be a pain to get lined up. So I'm going to drag a box around each word. If you do control plus plus, that's the same as doing union. But I don't really like to keep using my mouse. <coughs> I'm going to drop downs, so I just do control plus plus. So we're going to drag a box around that one. Union it. This one is already by itself. Control plus plus. Oops, I missed the A on that one. 
and now each word is its own. They're way down here, we don't want them down there. I'm gonna drag them back up here where I can see them. So now, this E, I'm gonna make big. We're gonna turn it gray. We also, if you notice, it's sitting on top of my letters. I don't want that. So I'm going to lower it to the bottom. And now the names. I'll put my name here. And my little ampersand. And Chris's name. This is a little dark. I got a little bit lighter gray. <coughs> Forever and always are kind of where I want them. I'm going to group them with Control G. Just so if I move one by accident, they don't get out of alignment. And I have to deal with that. And I want this date. My date is June 25th. And this I'm not going to use Nexus font because I really just kind of want something basic. doesn't matter all that much what I pick. Um, I can make it Calibri just for the sake of it. I'll change that at any point. That's not a big deal. But make that into a path. Object to path. Go to each letter again. We're going to make this all one. Control plus plus. I'm gonna make that a little bit smaller. Put that under here. And then we have this big word love back here. L O V E all caps. Again, that looks that's a pretty basic, maybe a Times New Roman ish kind of font. Um that looks pretty good. So now we take that one, turn it into a path get one letter and drag a box over all of them and control plus plus. That also we want to be gray. And that looks like it's sitting on top of my letters too. So we're going to drop that one to the bottom. And that one didn't drop. Maybe if we make this one the top. This for some reason gets a little finicky sometimes and I don't honestly know why. I want this to be a little bit bigger. Let me put that back there. And now, this was my original picture, and this is what I have, and it took, what, I don't know, five minutes or so. I would group, or drag a box around all of this, group it, get rid of the original, and save this as, save whatever it is. Turn it into a plain SVG. And now I can bring that over to, uh, to Design Space or anywhere and load it and just cut it as is. So I hope that was helpful. Um, if you have any specific projects you need help with, uh, send me an email, wendye524 at gmail.com, and I will uh, do my best to see if I can help you with it. Thanks a lot.